You talk about your motivators, and in July we have what we call our summer ceremonial, and we had a patient there, and it was a young girl with scoliosis, and she is now three inches taller than she was mm -hmm. six months ago. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's that's what drives us. If, you know, I just, that's why we yeah. need that help. You know, that we can do, we can continue to do <clears> this and, and get out and reach more people. And one 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 other story in that the same vein as well. We were in Cornerbrook a number of years, going back seven or eight years ago, and uh, we used to do a, a flag raising on a Friday afternoon to kick off Shriners Weekend. And we were outside, it was starting to snow, and we were getting the flag ready to come up the pole. And this lady came along, she was probably in her 20s, and uh, she came over to myself and this other guy, and she said, you're Shriners? And I said, yeah. She says, well, I'm from Jamaica. And I said, really? She said, if, if it hadn't been for the Shriners, I wouldn't be here today. She says, I was severely burned in a fire in Jamaica and ended up going to the Shriners Hospital in Galveston, Texas. And she says, they saved my life. Powerful stories, fellas, powerful stories. And uh, I can't begin to thank you enough for the service that you provide mm -hmm. to the community. I can't uh, begin to tell folks that how important it is to donate, right? Mm -hmm. 